Mitch Bernstein with Rockwell Collins. We're in a King Air that has a new avionics package. You guys have just really gotten the uh, the STC out to put a Proline Fusion package in this airplane. Tell us a little bit about that and what it means for the guy that's up front. The Proline Fusion system is a fantastic system. What it really means for the guy up front that there's going to be a lot less work to do. It's going to be much more intuitive to fly and a lot more fun to fly. The FCC, this particular airplane, was a Proline 21 airplane that we retrofitted to a Proline Fusion aircraft. We also are just about to STC a Proline 2 King Air to the same Proline Fusion system there. What are some of the advantages of the Proline Fusion against the Proline 21 or, heaven forbid, still flying with steam gauges? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> the biggest advantage of Proline Fusion is that you fly heads up, eyes forward. We really try to minimize the time that you're looking down because if you're looking down, the airplane's flying you and it should be the other way around. So we've taken away the CDUs and we've put the FMSs in the actual displays. And they're actual real full FMSs just like uh, Proline 21 system. You can interface with the system by just touching exactly what you want to happen on the screen, which makes it so easy from diverting to loading approaches, holding patterns, and things of that nature. When we designed the system, we really paid a lot of attention to pilots and we had them work close with engineers and to say, hey, what's going to work best for you? What we decided to do is make the Proline Fusion system adaptable to each individual pilot. You can control the system completely by just the touch screens, completely by just the keypad, or a hybrid of both, whatever really works for you there. What kind of response are you getting from the pilots that you have shown this system to? They're absolutely amazed. We've shown several Textron pilots because the new King Air has all of the Proline Fusion system coming off the line. They were very impressed with how easy it is to use. And even our own company pilots, test pilots, who by nature, test pilots are very critical and they've been very pleased with the system. It's fascinating to watch because most pilots they're used to touching buttons. So the first thing they do is right away they start touching the buttons. Within 15 minutes, they're just touching the touch screens there because it's just so intuitive and so much easier to use. One of the criticisms of a touch screen system is obviously if you're in a lot of turbulence, you're bouncing around, it's more difficult for you to find the spot on the screen where you want to put your finger and touch it to make it do what you want it to do. How does the Proline Fusion system address that issue? It's a great question, and we've combated that with a couple different ways. One, we have a specialized bezel around the screen where you can anchor your hands, so if you're in moderate turbulence there, your hand's not bouncing around and you can touch exactly what you want. Second way we've addressed that is the screen architecture itself. We've used what are called resistive touch screens. What that means, you have to press the screen with some deliberate force to get it to engage there. A lot of people are used to their iPhones or Androids where it's a capacitance touchscreen. If you accidentally touch it, things go all over the place. Not so with Fusion. So again, in turbulence, you have to make sure you're pressing what you want there. And the last way we overcome that is with the utilization of all the keypads and joysticks on the bottom there. So if you feel that's easier in turbulence, you can use that. So there's really three big ways that this works in turbulence, and we haven't had any complaints about it with turbulence. And the system is available right now? On the Proline 21 to Fusion, yes. Proline 2 to Fusion will be available in the next coming months. And which models is it available for? Which models of King Air? King Air 350 for the Proline 2 to Fusion, and for the Proline 21 to Fusion, It'll be out on all the new King Airs that they're offering, 300s, 200s, and uh, C90s there. Uh, this required an STC. Is it fully STC'd for this model and coming on others? Yes, it'll be fully STC'd for the King Air 350, Proline 2 to Fusion. There will be some caveats, of course. You have to make sure your configuration falls into the right space. A lot of people have done different modifications there, so there are different options to make sure it fits. And we are expanding the product line to different King Airs after this STC.
Well, Mitch, thanks very much for taking some time to talk with us. It's a great looking system and hopefully we'll all get to go out and fly it one day. I appreciate it and I'm sure we'll make that happen for you. Aero TV is brought to you by the debate is no longer about upgrading GA aircraft with NextGen, it's about financing it. The NextGen GA Fund is about doing just that. Find out more at www.nextgenfund.com. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADSB, ATX100, and ATX100G transceivers are the next gen ADSB solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com.